four candidate last year and they got beaten the first round, right? The, you know how that it goes at this point. It's all about matchups, right? Yeah. Steven Austin, that's who they lost to last year, was not a good matchup for them. Because they had great guard play. Um, great to press. So who knows how the matchup's going to go, but I mean, I, I think West Virginia is a really good team, and I think Huggins is a tremendous coach. They've got to get to me, they've got to find a, a player that I think offensively they can, they can run sets through and get the ball to and count on that guy for a big basket the same way. Pitt feels confident that in late games, Michael Young or Jamel Artis can get them the baskets that they need. I don't question West Virginia's defense at all, but they're not a good free throw shooting team. They're one of the worst in the country, 65%. And that's not going to uh, – you're playing a lot of close games in March. If you're not making your free throws, it's hard for me to predict that you're going to do a lot of damage. Cal Perry's teams in the past have had problems with that but when you've got seven nba players it's a little bit easier to overcome something overcome as your as that. overcome your warts that's for sure all right we're going to be back to wrap up the show starkey and muller in the building they're up next